This video is how to uh, schedule an engineer for an appointment. So I've created an inquiry um, from someone called Ronald Reagan who wants some flooring, if you look along here, um, for domestic carpet. And we are assuming that this is a carpeting flooring company called Cavendish Devere. So I'm going to say yes, we can do something for Ronald, and I want to book him in uh, for an engineer. So I sign the inquiry off. I have a check through it, convert to a quota order, yes please. As we've looked before on the other video, this is the uh, screen which we decide whether the invoice and the job address is the same or whether it's an existing customer. We're going to say that it is the same. It's, we haven't done any business with uh, Ronald Reagan before. So we're going to save that. And we have now created um, an order for Ronald and he has an account with Cavendish Devere. Uh, this is his order number. That is his account number there. Uh, job owner and all the various details we have for this. Now we're going to go assume that he wants a quotation. So we're going to make an appointment uh, for someone to go and give Ronald that quotation. So we'll start off with the customer services tab and we'll see that we haven't put any notes in. Um, we really should do so. We'll just add a couple. Uh, looking for a quotation for flooring and we'll add that we can see that that's down there now and we can see that we can make an appointment here across the bottom so we'll click the let's make an appointment tab now you've got the order number department order type name address and so on and so forth and down here you'll have the appointment details now there's a few things that uh, I do when I'm booking in my appointments I always actually have these two tabs open on the side here one of them is the schedule you will see for your engineers and the other one is a list of the engineers and the telephone numbers because they're all subcontractors um, I can't necessarily go right ahead and book them in when I'd like to uh, even though sometimes I do have good visibility of their availability, I give them a ring and then they they tell me when they're available. So I keep that tab open and I also keep this one open. And I actually have two screens, so I keep this one open all the time. And this is telling, showing me the day today, which is the 17th. And here's all my engineers across the top. And here's what they're doing. So as I roll over, I can see that... Anything that's gone dark means it's the time has passed and it has been closed off. And anything that's currently blue means they've got, they've got to go to it or they haven't closed the appointment off yet. Um, so we can see that Huey is 8 o'clock. That time has passed now because he's actually gone 9 o'clock. And at 10 o'clock he's got another appointment um, in WC1N. Um, James is on a job in uh, Islington and Tony is on that same job and everyone else these dark ones mean that they're not working today or for whatever reason and these ones mean that they're still available for work so I'll go back to my schedule now as you set the, the skills matrix up as we've already discussed in the previous video you'll only be able to select the uh, engineers who can do this job in that area and who have the right skills for it so you don't need to worry about this too much about where your engineers are because it will show you any second now so you're saying that I want to make an appointment for Ronald Reagan uh, who lives in SW16 and so I'm going to go down uh, and look at these options here charging schedule now I'm making a quotation but if I was actually charging or doing a transactional work, for instance, going to repair um, a boiler, I would click one of these time based from the price list, and that would mean that uh, when they went there, they could use the FieldNet app to determine the price. But let's just go ahead and do a fairly straightforward quote or estimate. Estimated time to complete, it won't take more than an hour. Uh, here I have some options about how to alert the customer and to pass some notes to the field engineer so I'm going to go uh, to both you don't send notes to the customer you just send it to the field team member 
or, or engineer and again the same with the SMS narrative the customer will receive uh, an email or a text alert with the time that you have put in on this uh, schedule so I'm going to pass a note here and say customer just wants a quote for new carpet in one room or I might just put some other notes saying uh, please pick up keys from and then the SMS will go straight to his phone so he can't say that he hasn't had it if it's we're doing it on the same day and what's happened is it has already selected the engineers that can actually do this job and it hasn't selected anyone who can't do this job because we told it, it was flooring so we've got James we've got Huey uh, John and Tom um, and we're going to put it in for Huey and we're going to say it's going to be at uh, on Saturday at 8 o'clock and I'll confirm that appointment and we can see that that has now been successfully created and that ringing in the uh, that that sound you just heard was actually my phone receiving an SMS message but I'll put that on another video so that basically means that uh, Huey has now got an appointment at uh, 8 o'clock on Saturday and if we look at his schedule we can see that that's now been booked in and as we roll over it it gives us more information about the job obviously it checked in at he hasn't actually checked in yet or out is he going back because it's remedial work remedials work where you've you've already been and uh, the customers not happy so you're going back to do something for nothing usually charging schedule is a quote departments flooring order type domestic carpet time to complete 60 minutes uh, the name and the address and if we want to from there of course we can go and click in have a look at that appointment which has been made in the order log the customer service notes charges which we haven't raised any um, and that's very basically how to book in an engineer uh, for a quotation and we will look at the other side of that about what information the customer and the engineer receives in another video so look out for the videos marked scheduling for engineers and scheduling for customers